Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're already a part of the crew, I, I appreciate you. Do me a quick favor, hit both the like and the subscribe button, as well as the bell icon as well on your way in. But if you're already a part of the crew, Today we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Tab A 8.0 S Pen version model with 4G LTE specifically. So there are two different variants you can get. Actually, there's about four or five different variants, but this is the one that we're going to be talking about. It has the actual physical S Pen inside of it. It is running Android 10 prior to a day ago. Now it's actually on Android 11. We're gonna get into that in a little bit more detail, but um, I wanna talk about some of the things that I do really enjoy with the Android 11 update that we did get. We've got a new design to it, visual redesign, which will improve everything, right? When you're scrolling, the motion will be a lot quicker, right? You get the S Pen that you can use. This is the same exact S Pen that is on the Samsung Galaxy Note eight right so it does have that same exact pen it also does fit perfectly in the tablet just like the samsung galaxy note 8 but this one does have updates right we do get android 11 with samsung galaxy with the new um the android update we also have that one ui 3.1 as well so I, I definitely like that about this thing it's going to give you smoother motion when you're scrolling through the interface also, haptics are going to be improved on this device. We're going to get better haptics. I noticed when I was typing now, after I, I, I got the update, I started to, you know, anything, I, anytime I search something on Google or the internet, like Chrome or something like that, there's a vibration on you. The vibration motor has been changed. Like before, when I would type on here, I wouldn't feel any vibration on this thing. We do have vibration. We do also have edge panels with this device. So I definitely like the fact that they do bring that with Android, you know, the One U 3.1. Now, the only thing I noticed is that we don't have screen recording on here with the Android 11 update, but we do have the ability to move the apps to the SD card. And that was before Android 11 came. So I definitely like that tab, the fact that this tablet does have that. We also do have that really nice, you know, texture on the back, which is like a matte finish. This is a matte black finish. Really underrated tablet, in my opinion. This device doesn't really get enough coverage as it should because, um, you know, it's definitely a really good replacement for somebody who is looking for a large screen display that they can have also with the S Pen feature included as well as Android 11 and updates included. We also do get 4G LTE on here, right? Five gigahertz Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz for the Wi-Fi as well. So, you know, you definitely can use this as a phone, right? You can definitely use this as a phone. They do have a newer improved um, visual um, effects on the screen, right? It's improved animations, haptic feedback, um, most common interactions that you will see, like just swiping back when I when I move my finger and I feel that vibration hit um, just by moving back now. So you're gonna notice that we do get that. The keyboard, right, has been improved. The, the, when you type, you will feel the nice feeling on the keyboard. Chat bubbles is on here, right? So now when you get an incoming message in your device, when you're texting somebody back and forth, you will be able to get that individual message appear on the notification bar as a bubble, or you can interact with it. You could definitely interact with it, but there's some settings. If you go into the notification settings, you can change it, right? You have the ability to go in here and tailor the notification as you so please, how you so desire. So you can have the chat bubble or not. Now the, 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 the update did give you the latest security, right? We are now running on the latest security on here. We have, we do have facial recognition on here as well. May 1st, 2021 is the latest, along with the Play Store June 1st. So we do have that as well. So 
along with the new refreshed One UI software visual design, um, improved performance. We're gonna get improved performance because the dynamic memory allocation will actually shut down apps automatically in the background to make the, the device run faster and smoother. It'll restrict activities in the background and, and preserve power consumption and power usage with the optimized One UI 3.1. So that's something that I do like about the Android uh, One 3.1 is that it will conserve, you know, uh, it, it will reserve those resources that your tablet is using up on a regular basis. And with these, with this update, we will also get security software patches as well. Like I just said before, um, it, it's gonna, it's gonna, definitely gonna be, you know, the icons are gonna be a little bit smarter and more organized, as well as the quick panels and notifications. So anytime you're getting a notification on the quick panel or anything like that, it will look smoother. It's definitely gonna have a smarter, intuitive, feel to it with the vibrations and the haptic feedback and the new new software that they laid out on here right so that's something that i did think was really cool with this thing um not only did we get better optimization we got better customization right they allow us to customize this device by actually using the lock screen we have something called dynamic lock screen which will allow you to basically change the wallpapers on the display now we don't have like the always on display on here this is an lcd panel right this isn't like a amulet panel so we i just want to let you guys know that this is not like an amulet panel it's a tft ips lcd panel 8.8 .8 inches with 283 pixels per inch, uh, as well as, you know, 1200 by 1920. So I definitely think that the display is nice at 60 Hertz. So it's nothing crazy, but it looks good. It definitely has some really solid viewing angles to it as, um, in addition to that. So I had no issues with that, but the device has really good viewing angles, whatever you're doing with it, you will be able to see it in natural lighting, outdoor lighting, indoor lighting. The back is really good when you feel it in your hand. So I definitely like the feel of it in my hand. You do get those dy dynamic lock screens, which look really good. The shortcuts on the lock screen are easy to get to as well. You could also get to your notifications. On the lock screen, you could actually move your pattern, password, and pin left, right, or center. So it's depending on where you want it, you can move that um pat that pattern unlock thing to the left or right and then those dynamic you know lock screens lock screen is what is going to change the background depending on what you choose you could choose food you could choose animals you could choose desserts landscapes things of that nature so that's something that's really awesome about this tablet as well but you know just having that pen on there as an artist i do really like to use the drawing tool right here that they do have well it's a note taking tool as well also a productivity tool for some of the people who like to get a lot of work done on this large display it also does have 4g so you could use it on the go and that uh, you can use it like a phone it does have a 4200 milliamp hour battery so it will just last about around one day i've been getting on this thing but with the new memory allocation, with the improved performance, visual designs, and um, upgraded software with the Android 11, um, it's definitely going to be, you're going to definitely feel like you got a, a newer improvement to your device. It's definitely going to be nice. The notification panel is a little bit smoother. I could feel a little, you know, it definitely feels smooth going through it. Um, definitely, you can get to your new media controls, right? You can, you can change up the media controls easier and get to your different devices that are paired to your Bluetooth. Uh, the, 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 anything that's Bluetooth, you can get to really easy as well. So the media controls are really nice. I also do like the improved performance, that dynamic lock screen, the, the restricted apps in the background with the new One UI 3.1 running the show. The edge panels, we do get edge panels on here so you can move those along the side the chat bubbles like i mentioned earlier and that overall uh, visual refresh is going to make this device feel really good so it was released in april 2019 i've had it for about you know you know um 
I've had it for about a year. I've had this device for about one year now, but 11 months ago, we did get the Android 10 update. And uh, 11 months after now, after that 11 months passed, we do have the Android. Um, after, the, after the 10, now we do have the 11 with the one UI. It was running that 2.1 UI which is a little bit buggy, right? But now you on games, it feels pretty decent. You have the Snapdragon. Well, you don't have the Snap. This isn't the one with the Snapdragon. This is the three gigabytes of RAM, three, 32 gigabytes of internal storage with the Exynos 7904, 14 nanometer processing chip. And it's coupled with three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. So it's gonna be, you know, you're gonna be able to move all your apps to the SD card, which is really cool. And it's it's definitely feels a little bit zippier. It feels a lot quicker when I'm using this tablet. Um, so I definitely like it. The battery could be, you know, it, if you do use some of the optimization on here, like uh, they have power savings mode, you can get more than a day with it. It also does have Dolby Atmos kids mode, quick share, right? You know, things like that, call and text on other devices, but this is a phone that you can just take phone calls from directly. It also does have that Wi-Fi as well so that new refresh panel looks really good right it looks really smooth with the android 11 here everything is really really nice when i'm using it so you could sketch on here you could draw you could do your thing you can conserve battery with the power savings mode with you could put your sim card in here for the mobile mobile data mode or you could just use it as wi-fi but i've seen this on amazon for around 266 dollars brand new which is actually a steal for what you're actually getting in this bundle. You're getting a lot. You're getting the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 S Pen. You're getting um, some similar performance to the Note 8 as well. Not um, as as high of a, you know, the screen isn't gonna be as good as it is on that phone compared to this one. That one does have a flagship processing chip compared to this one as, as well, right? So just keep that in mind. It won't be significantly of an improvement, but you will get software improvements and you can actually get that bigger screen, right? And you also can use this as a tablet versus just as a phone. So it's like a two in one compared to the Note 8, but you know, that, that the, the pen does give you a lot of features. When you click the pen, you get that pop-up animation as well. Just really nice to use. You get the smart select the screen, right? The live messaging, and then you can get to your other shortcuts. You could also write notes with it as well. That dynamic lock screen feature is really awesome. I do like those animated chat bubbles. I also do like the permissions, one time only permissions. So if you're in an app, it'll ask you if you wanna do it just this once or maybe, you know, only while you're in it right now or, you know, something like that. But they do give you new animations, new security, things of that nature. So let me know what you what's your favorite feature of the Android 11 is I also did notice that the photos come out a lot better because the improved autofocus and auto exposures as well. But I'm going to get right back with you. I'm going to show up in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about these, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A 8.0 S Pen version. And I appreciate you guys. I'll, I'll get right back with you later. Peace.